A little boy from California is proof that stem cells from cord blood might be a lifesaver. He was diagnosed with cerebral palsy and became one of the first children in the nation to undergo a highly experimental treatment. Chris Pickle from our Sacramento affiliate KOVR has this remarkable story. Excited over their firstborn, it didn't take long for Cynthia and Derek Hextel to suspect something was wrong with baby Dallas. He cried constantly, um, and they kept saying like it was colic. And... At eight months old, Dallas was diagnosed with cerebral palsy. There is no cure for the brain damage, only medication and therapy to help manage the debilitating effects. But you can just tell that he's frustrated, you know, because his mind, his mind is healthy and he wants to be able to do those things physically and he just can't. By the time Dallas reached 18 months, his only form of communication, screaming. He also lacked control over his body, unable to clap, wave, crawl, or speak. He doesn't say mama or dada or baba. Conventional therapy had little impact, but when Dallas was born, his parents decided to bank his stem cells. These are not the controversial stem cells created from embryos, but those taken directly from the umbilical cord. Dallas was accepted into a clinical trial at Duke University. His own stem cells were placed back into his body through a simple IV, an attempt to let the stem cells heal the damaged part of the brain. Well, the hope is that um, infusion of these cells would lessen the severity of cerebral palsy in these children. Insurance did not cover the experimental treatment, estimated at $12,000. Following the procedure, Dallas was brought back home. The family waiting to see if the cost and their efforts would pay off. They didn't have to wait long. Incredibly, just five days later, Mama. Dallas spoke for the first time. And not only that. Hi. <laughs> Good job, honey. You learned to wave. Dallas laughing. It's the best feeling in the world to, to hear your little kid laugh, and he's never laughed before. There is no way to know if or how much the improvements are directly related to the treatment. But this is Dallas just three months later, on the move with muscle control and his own way of getting around. When you talk to him, he looks at you and, and listens to you. Chris Pickle for CBS News, Sacramento. And we invite you to say hello to Dallas and his parents, Derek and Cynthia Hextel. Good morning, everybody. Good morning. Can you believe all that's happened since last July? Yeah. Yeah. Absolutely incredible. Sorry. No, no, no. He's on West Coast time, we should understand. He's pretty happy in Daddy's arms, so we'll yes. just leave him right like that. He's plenty happy. And we can get a nice camera shot of his face from there, too. What made you think, what, what was it that made you think, we better save this kid's cord blood? You know, it really was down to the wire. We did not make a final decision until about two weeks before, and a couple of um, the factors were that heart disease ran in Derek's family. Mm -hmm. um, it took us three years to get pregnant, so mm -hmm. this might be our only child and our only chance to do it, and just doing research and seeing what it was going to be able to help in the future, mm -hmm. we thought it would be a good idea. You get this diagnosis of cerebral palsy. You see that he's not responding in a way that a healthy, fully healthy child would. What made you think, is there something we can do with this, with this cord blood? Well, how'd you put um, two and two together? I think after the, like the initial shock, um, I, I just decided as a mom that there had to be something that we could do. And it really was like a therapy for me, doing research and just getting on the internet and, and just thinking, if you can use stem cells to repair a damaged um, spinal cord or, you know, this is a form of, of brain damage mm -hmm. or a trauma. So yeah. I figured there had to be something. So that's what made me start looking. Yeah, yeah. Dallas, had, you know, Dallas's grandma is over here, right? <gasps> No, we used to call this the binky in our house. He's got the little banky, uh -huh. right? You think there's any chance he would walk <laughs> over there? Look, your blanky. Huh? Look at now, there's a smile on his face. Get past Look at that. Oh, no, that's all right. It's all right. Lost the shoe. Oh, he's we lost okay. Shoe. Take his other he's shoe. Take right. the other one off. Yeah. Go see grandma. Go see grandma. Go get your oh, blanky. Look at that. Look at the smile on Squat his face. Come on. Oh my God. Oh, you gosh. can come this way. Come on. He's all right. You know what? How, when when you see that this has happened. 
when you know the dramatic change from the way he was before last July and how he is now, how do you, how do you digest that? It's just, I mean, it's amazing and it truly, it makes us just appreciate the small things. Like every day he does something new and it's just, it's just, we're so thankful and we feel so blessed. It's, for him, it's a feeling of independence. You can tell he was, he, he's a two-year-old trapped in, you know, a, a lot younger of a child's body. And he's just, he's so proud of himself now. Yeah. He's just, you know, he, he loves being able to walk around and, come on. <laughs> you can do it. He means. Come on. Come here, bub. Come on. Oh, look too at early the smile on his face. It's powerful stuff. Yeah, it we is. just we want to get the word out about banking cord blood because not a lot of people know about it. It's not a con there's no controversy behind it. It's his own cord blood and there's just there's amazing results that can happen from it. Thanks a bunch. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah, good luck to you. That was <laughs> there's a boy with his pacifier this? and his <laughs> Put that back where it belongs. <laughs> <laughs> thank you all. Thank Thanks. you all. Thank Cynthia you Derek. very much. Oh, all right. Say bye bye, everybody. Oh, bye bye. What a story. Now, here's Russ Mitchell at the news desk. Good morning, Russ.